What's up guys, Technology Brat here with you again, and uh, today I just wanted to show you a couple of the uh, better RSS readers out there. Uh, I'm going to start with NewsRack, which is actually my favorite RSS. When you open it up here in uh, landscape mode, you have your articles on the, your, your, your not articles, your feeds, and you can see it kind of popping through there, populating the feeds as I open it up there. It goes through and it populates the feed, and then it goes back through and populates the images. So you've got all your different feeds here. If you just want to focus on one feed, you can just click on that, and it's going to bring you to all your all your new articles in that particular feed. Uh, I usually generally like to go to unread, and I start at the bottom and just kind of work my way up every day, get all the news that I want to get. Um, I just press here. It's going to bring up this article, and then I can read it there. Um, you know, it does all that. It does images and everything right in line. Um, Seems to be a little hiccup there, that's odd. Um, you, you can see here you also have YouTube videos in line as well. Um, and it kind of populates everything in the same format. Everything looks similar no matter where it comes from. Really clean look, really good, really good news reader. Um, I use this every day. This is my favorite RSS reader, guys, and it's uh, it, it does it comes with I think a couple um, RSS feeds already in there, but it's really easy to add a feed. If you click Edit here, and then click this little plus button, they actually have included a feed directory right in there. You click that, and it, they've got all kinds of different topics. Let's say you're into Android phones, you want a couple Android blogs, bam, there they are, right there. Go back to the feed directory, go down a little bit. Here's Apple. They've got a whole bunch of Apple blogs. You know, if I want to um, add Mac, let's say I want to add Mac Rumors. Now, let's say I want to add Mac World. Just click this little plus, and bam, it's already done. It's, it's down here, right there. It already populated it for me. So that is a really good, and it's really easy. Once you're on edit too, if I just want to get rid of it, simple, right? Simple, really easy. Um, this does. Uh, it's kind of like email, where uh, if you do it in landscape mode, you're gonna have your article on the right. Your um, your feed on the left you can do it in landscape mode as well and it's gonna let you just focus completely on your article and then you click the feeds button at the top and you know, you're gonna get the pop-up bar there um, so it's really it, it's really slick it works really well it's really clean um, it populates very quickly uh, the images videos all look great right in line really easy uh, you know it just it looks good it works good it's for me it's pretty much the perfect RSS reader um, that I've seen out there. Another one that just came out, uh, Steve Jobs was even touting this one this week, um, this Pulse News app, which actually they got pulled and then put right back on there, so you may have heard about it. Um, a really cool RSS reader. When you open it, I mean, you can see really vibrant with uh, all the images right in there. Um, of course, as long as the feed you know is including images, if you scroll up and down between your different feeds. Now, this one is limited on 20 feeds um, that you can put in here. So that you know, if you read more than 20 different blogs or, or follow different 20 different feeds, uh, you're gonna kind of be out of luck. But uh, here's how this one works. I mean, you can you see how good it looks scrolling up and down. You've got your feeds. Each line has its own feed, and you can scroll left and right within that feed just like so. And let's say you want to go ahead and read an article. If I want to read uh, Chris Carter hates pitches, I'm going to tap that. It's going to bring the article up right there. I'm still going to have my feeds right here on the left hand side. And I can even still scroll it left and right, right in the feed. If I want to check out uh, this article about Motorola, you see there it is. Comes right up, read it move along to my next item if I want to read about 326 pixels per inch you know iPhone 4's retina display bam there's the article on that uh, you can also do this in portrait mode and there you go it's gonna be basically the same thing and I do apologize guys I do have the camera set up for landscape I wasn't uh, thinking about portrait uh, but again you just have your feed on the bottom here and you have your article on the top and it uh, uh, works kinda the same way oops let's get rid of that but uh, if you tap on this, it'll it'll get rid of your bar down there. Just click that. I don't know why it's bringing that all the way back up. But uh, there you go. If you want to go back to your home page with all your feeds, there you go. You can scroll left and right. Scroll left and right. There you go. 
So I want to read about, you know, just you guys know how RS feed, RSS feeds work. It just look how, I mean, this app just looks really great. It's really visually appealing. You, know, you go into an article, you can still scroll back and forth. You can do it in portrait mode. You can do it in landscape mode. It looks great either way. Really functional, works really well. Um, it's great. It's just another really, a really good uh, RSS reader. And this one is uh, pretty easy to add feeds as well. When you bring up this little manage sources bar, you've got a search button right there. So let's just say you want to search for Apple. There you go. Search. And it's going to bring you up a whole bunch of different Apple, you know, RSS feeds. So you saw how quick that was. And then they've got a feature, uh, featured section, which is a bunch of, you know, just real quick. I can just ESPN.com, click it. Bam, it was added just that quick. And then uh, another really cool thing, too, if you guys are into Google Reader, at, uh, I believe it does sync up with Google Reader. I, I haven't, uh, I just kind of signed up to uh, do Google Reader recently. I haven't messed with it at all, so I really don't know how that works. But, uh, you know, again, just as easy to take stuff off. I want to go ahead and take that back off. Delete. Bam, it's gone. And uh, it's just that simple, guys. That is the Pulse app. So those are two really, really good news readers. Um, there's a couple other ones out there. You know, I bought a couple of them. This early edition one is uh, really good as well. This one gives you kind of a newspaper feel. Um, whenever you open this one up, it kind of gives you that, that newspaper look. You read your article, it's going to bring it up separate for you. Um, you. You can flip the page. Takes a second, but you can flip the page. You've got all your different articles here. You know, populates everything into one newspaper, basically like a newspaper um, format, and it keeps you know all your days separate, so you can you know get your news for today or get your news for yesterday um, in a newspaper-like format. Click on article you want to read. It's going to bring it up. You can view the original if you like. It's going to load up the actual web page right in your browser for you click done you go right back to where you were and uh, it's just another cool one as well it's, that's, that one's called early edition but uh, i don't think it really holds a candle to news rack or to uh, the pulse one uh, again i think news rack i think this is the absolute best one uh, out there uh, if you're going to spend some money on an rs reader rss you know feed reader um I think this one's the best. It's the cleanest looking. It's the nicest looking. It puts everything in the same format. It includes images, includes videos. Uh, real easy to add feeds. Real easy to uh, you know you've got all your feeds separated. If you just want to go through one particular feed, if I just want to check out joystick, um, I don't know what it's doing. Uh, what did I just do? I don't know. I hit something. Here I am touting it, and then I. Uh, mess up something on it there it goes um, there you go it goes right into the feed you've got all your articles right there from you know joystick specific so you can go to specific feeds you can go unread I usually go unread just to make sure I get all my news and everything that I want to read um, and you know one nice clean format guys I, I think that's the one to go with for me I like news rack a lot of people like this pulse app I mean it's you know top of the app store um, pretty much since it's been out you know, in the top 10, top 5, number 1. Um, I still think NewsRack is better, guys. Uh, which, which, which ones do you guys like? Um, have you guys shelled out any money for RSS readers? And, you know, how do you feel after you uh, paid the money and used them? Um, I think I got my money out of NewsRack. I still use it every day. It's one of my favorite apps. Um, I mean, I put it right down here in my bar. So, I mean, you know, it's got to be good if it's getting down there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry about the lack of videos. I got more stuff coming. Hey, tell me if you guys want an app demo of something. Uh, if you're curious about an app before you spend your money on it, let me know. And uh, I'll try to do my best to get a video up for it. So, um, you know, thanks to you guys very much for watching. I know I've got a ton of new subscribers. We're over 750 so thank you very much to all of you guys. I, I really appreciate it. And um, that's it, guys. Technologybrat.com, Twitter.com slash Technologybrat. And uh, as always, guys, take it easy.